Welcome to the balcony at the Vintage Film Channel with two old guys reminiscing and ruminating about old films. From the Vintage Film Channel. Yeah. I love I love uh, the selection that Grace has put up for us. Mm. Old films, old TV shows. In this case, Art and I have chosen to review Romance on the Run, a, a feature <laughs> film from 1938. Um I, I'm sure this was a B movie, uh, although it doesn't feel quite like a B movie. It's pretty good. It's, and it's, it's, a, a, B, it's a B movie that wants to be better than B, it's like a B plus. <laughs> it is. It is. I didn't recognize the stars uh, by any means, uh, but they're good looking and um, they do a good job. I thought what I did recognize. In fact, Art, maybe you have a a, a spot where we have. Um, uh, see some of the famous, uh, and there's the cast, William Demarest and Edward Brophy are the two names that I recognized. Yeah. Oh, here's the plot. Yeah. So it's a jewel heist, right? Yeah. And um, there's this blonde who's playing at uh, being stuck, her car was stuck. It's night outside the bank. And uh, that she somehow gets the cop to, or the guard to uh, ignore her. And then she bends down, and down below in the sewer is her boyfriend, who is actually going into the basement of the bank and cutting the alarm. And they heist the jewels, and, and we're off and running for the for the show. Um, the protagonist is a is one of those I call him a Boston Blackie kind of guy. Mm -hmm. He's uh, good looking, wealthy. He's in an insurance investigator. Yeah, here she's she's telling she was the lookout, so she's telling the guy yeah. doing the heist that and, they, and so he's gonna he's gonna cut the wire, right? Right. Um, the the good guy is a uh, kind of works both sides of the law, and he knows they all know each other, right? And he's gonna his job is to get the insurance money, get the jewels back, and get the insurance money. Here's the oh, cop. here's my favorite, yeah. William Demarest. William Demarest is the police uh, police inspector. Now you recognize him as a younger version of uh, the grandfather in uh, My Three Sons. Right. <laughs> so that's another reason I love these old and, movies. And you know what? Uh, this studio obviously had a whole bunch of great character actors. Yeah. Uh, you'll yeah. see them right throughout. Uh, they were all very acceptable. So um, you know, it, it, right? It was probably a little over B movie. Here, here's yeah. the star. Here's the star. Uh, I, what's Donald, his name? Donald Woods. Don, Don Woods. The only reason is I, I can actually see the screen. You may not be oh, able okay. to. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with him, his little sidekick, is uh, Ed Brophy. I think it's Edward, isn't it? Edward Brophy. Yeah. Great character actor. Always reminds me of the Three Stooges for some reason, uh, because he looks like uh, Curly Moe or somebody like that. Or, but or, he's a great character yeah. actor. You've seen him around in all these old movies. And he's the sidekick to this handsome insurance investigator. And is a so, bumbling guy. What, what, what's going to happen here is he's going to tell the sidekick to call. I, I guess the, they, they heard from the insurance company. He said, well, why don't you call and make an appointment? And he goes and he puts it in the slot machine. And yeah. uh, while the other guy actually makes a real call uh, or yeah. something. And... Uh, of course, he loses, so he can't make the call. <laughs> Cute little bits, lots of little stuff that's yeah. uh, very reminiscent of the era that is fun to look back on, uh, stuff that uh, we never saw, like the cars and the, the, the chase scenes are old versions of chase scenes. Um, it, it's a really uh, old-fashioned film, if you will, but the story's good, the acting's good, Man, it's worth an hour of your time. Um, uh, this is the kind of thing that I think might have been uh, 10 minutes longer, 15 minutes longer in the theater. Uh, but this version is an hour because it was probably cut down for television. Right. I, as you say, Art, this is the kind of thing. Yeah, we, we, didn't, all saw. we didn't see it as kids, but this is the kind of standard fare that we saw on yeah. television. Yeah, this is, these are the movies that television would uh, would play. Okay. Uh, they could pick them up cheap because yeah, they would be. Yeah, but they still have they still have some production value in here. This is a nightclub scene, and sure. now all of the protagonists and antagonists are yeah. getting together because they're, they're all together. living this, yeah. as you were saying, John, the shadowy world of they play both sides. 
Yeah. Yeah, some of them play both sides. Yeah, you can tell the bad guy because he's got the pencil mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the same blonde who was in the car outside the bank in the first scene, right? right? She's the bad girl. And she's going she's gonna go on to hide the jewels that the guy stole and and the inspector's gonna try to get him back. And of course there's a good girl and romance ensues and they chase each other all around the country. Um oh, let's, get, you know let's, get, let's get let's get some action in here. Okay. Let me find some action. Okay, well here's here's uh oh, the detective here's looking inspector. for clues. Uh yeah. and uh, At the bad guy's house, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. And I don't you love don't you love that the the good guys always wear top hats and silk scarves, and and go to nightclubs. <laughs> I know exactly where to look. Yeah. And okay. here's bad guy with a gun. Yeah. Bad guys. I don't know if only the bad guys wore double breasted suits, but I think probably most of the time. And the fedora uh, was a little bit more intimidating, and of course the silliness <laughs> of. Uh, them uh, being in the same room and him not knowing and that kind of stuff. And you're going to find yeah. out, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I will, uh, that along the way, he's going to turn tables on the guy and get the gun. And sure. uh, Doesn't the good guy always? Well, you know, not in later years. And this yeah. is this is the, um, the executive leaving his secretary in charge, uh, who's going to turn out to be the smartest of the entire group. Yeah, uh, and help the detective along the way, and yeah. sort of play with some romance. Let's get some. Let's get some. Um, let's go, yeah, go get, forward get some to, action uh, into the a little later in the film, just to get a sense of the production value. Um, Here, they, it's a fun. Oh, they, they end up on a train. Only in the 1930s would you end up on a train in a sleeper car with a porter, right? Yeah. When was the last time you were on a sleeper car, Art? Uh, yeah. Counting the next time will be number one. Uh, that would be zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I anyway, do remember I... seeing them in the movies. But my favorite sleeper car, semi-sleeper car, was Some Like It Hot. So I let me yeah. just let you know, I do have a favorite. Uh, yeah. With uh, yeah. Uh, Tony Curtis and uh, all the rest of them. Uh, I'll see, see yeah. here, you're hiding the Oh, the She's jewels. hiding the jewels and, and her makeup uh, jar. Right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think it's a fun film and uh, lots of excitement, lots of adventure Let's go from it. the 1930s, mind you. You know, not the kind of action we would see in today's uh, romance. Another kind of. Let's get some really serious action happening here. There's going to be a. Uh, it's the chase. Right, and they're running away from the. Detective, who's the cop, who's trying to actually get the jewels back first to show that yeah. he's really on top of his game, and yeah. uh, just all sorts of nonsense ensues. But in any event, like you say, it was a B movie, which was a class of movies, and probably in B movie genre, a B plus a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's worth. The bottom line is, it's worth watching. It's worth going to. VintageFilmChannel.com or YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Yeah. And uh, looking for Romance on the Run. Uh, take a look. It's only an hour long, as I say. I think this is the television version of the original feature film. Right. Um, but it's good. It's good. It's worth watching. It's You have to, of course, get yourself into the mindset to recognize that this was made in 1930, something or other. And uh, it's not going to be... Uh, a romantic adventure like today's movies. And by the way, John, uh, just because uh, it, it seems to me it's been a while since we've made shameless plugs. Um, if you like our amazing rap uh, rapport, a rapporté, whatever, pate? No, I don't, I'm a vegan. I don't eat pate. <laughs> uh, please, uh, on Celebrating Act 2, subscribe. Tell a thousand of your closest friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, go over and take a look at uh, all of the wonderful stuff we have on our CelebratingAct2.com. Uh, health, entertainment, uh, finance, uh, all sorts of things and resources. And we thank you for taking this journey with us. And we yeah. look forward to seeing you again uh, next week. When and ho hopefully you'll enjoy Romance on the Run and, and leave your comments. Let and if you know. don't enjoy Romance on the Run, 
on the run. It's really something wrong with you. This is B+. Plus. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.